Hello and welcome back. This is video number four and we're going to talk about standard events. So the purpose of standard events is to allow you to track what is happening inside of your funnel. So for example, if we have a funnel where we just send people to a opt-in page and our goal is to get them to sign up and give their email address to us, we want to figure out how many people are just going to the page and not filling their name and email versus how many people are filling their name and email. And of course, maybe our funnel is as deeper. And besides an email opt-in funnel, we have something like a purchase funnel. So we send people to a sales page. We want to know how many of those have purchased and how many of those have not purchased. So the people who have not purchased Perhaps we want to create a retargeting ad to warm them up, to perhaps give them a discount or something to get them to potentially buy. So that's the goal here is you need to be able to test every step of the way inside of your funnel. Now I'm going to give you some more practical examples in the next few videos where we talk about things like the email opt-in funnel. We'll talk about the purchase funnel. And I'll give you real life examples and how to place your pixels and all of that. But for now, let's talk about the standard events. So this gives you an idea of the standard events that Facebook has pre-created for you. They have e-commerce and retail. They have automotive. They have education. They have entertainment and media. They have financial services, professional services, real estate, technology, travel, and other business category. Now, let's just click on one of these. Let's just do e-commerce and retail. So as you can see here, it says view content. This happens when a visit to a content page you care about, such as a product page, a landing page, or an article. So this would be kind of the initial landing page. Then we have the search, we have add, to wish lists, we have add to cart, we have initiate checkout, we have add payment info, purchase, subscribe, start trial, and more. Now, how do we apply this to the pixel? So to get an idea, you're going to need to place the pixel on every single page of your funnel. Now, if you click this, you'll notice that it gives you different values. So for example, we can add conversion value, currency, and other variables to get an idea of what's happening. Now, to keep it simple, you can see that it has FBQ track view content. Now, I'm gonna say that if you wanna customize the standard event, you can. What I mean by that is where it says view content, you can use your own word and that will show up in the reporting. Now it's better to stick with what Facebook gives you because then you have a more uniform standard event codes. So as you're looking through the variety of campaigns and ads that you have, you can get a better idea of what's happening if you understand the lingo. So if we scroll down here, we, has, we see add to cart. So you can see that it says FBQ track add to cart. So you're basically gonna add this code to your header of that page. Now, don't worry, we'll show you how to do all of that in the next few videos. So I just wanna give you an idea of how to track every step of the way. So we've got add to cart. We have all these other ones that we talked about. And if we scroll back up, we've got education. So we've got view content, complete registration, purchase. We have contact, we have lead, we have start trial and more. So now that you have an idea of the different codes and the different standard events that are available to you. Let's move on to the next video and talk about some real life application.